you know, with the gas prices and everything today, I mean, it's it's got to be... Uh, I have the solution you to have? the gas crisis. You do? Yes, sir, Bob. Well, show me the solution. Follow to the me. This was a revolutionary car in its day. This is a 1909 uh, Baker Electric. Where, where's the front end? Uh, that's the great thing about it. It's a bit like driving a phone booth. <laughs> um, I have to say, it's the only car I have that is 100% maintenance free. I mean, I've never, I mean, I painted it and restored it, but uh, the, the windings are of such high quality. It just doesn't break you down. You know, it's the turn of the century. They really wanted to show people how, because people were scared of electricity. Yeah. I mean, it was a frightening thing at the time, you know. Uh, it's a bit like hydrogen is now. People are like, hey, wait a minute. Hit that Hindenburg thing. Yeah, can't you get electric? Right. You know, so the idea, I mean, it, it's such a beautifully put together motor. And although it looks like a carriage, it is a carriage, but it has some high-tech ideas for the time. You have leather fenders. See, leather was the carbon fiber of the day. Is it very kind light of the lightest, weight, yeah, okay. Very lightweight. Um, the, it, this front window, I mean. Well, these open and close. And you have to understand, this is even before the advent of the wind-up window. So what you had to do was you'd, you'd undo these here. These are, uh, if you notice, they're like, whoa! They're like railroad windows. You pull it up like this. Oh, wow. You see, and then you pull it over, and then you kind of put it back down again there. That's cool. But see, these were... That's quite an ornate interior. Well, here was the trouble with electric cars. The idea was they really appealed to women because at the time, you know, the self-starter hadn't been invented yet. So Steam was a hassle. Steam was a hassle, and steam was dirty and messy and scary. Uh, you know, auto, regular automobiles, you had to hand crank and bang and set the choke and work the clutch. Uh, these were popular as women's shopping cars. So what they did was they really marketed them to women. They made it look like a woman's sitting room. You had mm -hmm. the flowers. You see, you've got see the clock, and there's a makeup. Uh, oh, how nice! You open up, and there's yeah. face powder, and you know makeup, and all. But then the problem was, well, no man wanted to buy a woman's <laughs> car. I mean, that that was the problem with really? it. Really? So consequently, electrics were relegated as women's shopping cars. But this thing went 100 miles on a charge. Uh, at the turn of the century, there were 15,000 of them in New York City. You could drive, there were charging stations all over the city. Really? Yeah. There were 15,000 of these Oh, cars? yeah, they were, they were all over the place. There were a lot of them. I mean, looking like this, looking like the phone calls? Yeah, yeah. And they were really quite, uh, you know, it's interesting. One day I was having my house uh, termited. They put the, you know, the big yeah. tent over it. So my wife said, I want to stay at the Beverly Hills Hotel. We never stayed there. And I said, okay, so we'll spend two days at the Beverly Hills Hotel. So, I drive this to the Beverly Hills Hotel, and I pull up, and they go, hey, is that Mrs. So-and-so's car? And I go, who's Mrs. So-and-so? She goes, oh, she used to come in and get her hair done every year for almost 50 years, and she would park. In, in and, one of these. And I said, well, where, where did she? she goes, well, we haven't seen her in a year or two. And I tried, and she had just died. But she had a Baker Electric, and I never found the car. But from, like, 1935 until almost 2001, she would take this thing to the Beverly Hills Hotel every week to get her hair done. Now, is it, is it, is it completely it's silent, of course? I mean, it's, Yeah, yeah. And does it have a transmission? No, no, no it's, it's direct. Just, right. That's the great thing about electricity is like steam. You have all your torque there. right away. Yeah. yeah. So it'll climb any hill at 23 miles an hour. That, <laughs> that 23 miles an hour is about the top speed. Kind of what it does. And believe me, when you're going downhill with this 23 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> Plenty fast. It's plenty plenty fast. Because it, 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 it tends to high side. <laughs> it is like driving a phone booth. And you know, my wife loves it because we use this at the holidays to go look at the Christmas lights. And it's the only car I have with a with deer. Good. The deer come right up and look in the window because there's no smell, there's no sound. Yeah, yeah. And they, you know, if there's deer on the road, we'll stop. And they walk right up. I think it's something about this curved glass. And they go like this, and they look in. <laughs> well, that's not because my wife. That's just, that makes it the oh, greatest. Isn't this great? It's the greatest car we've ever had. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, charging stations. Were this is the original the charging, charging station here. I, I don't have all the pieces to put it together, but it does have sort of. You're gonna talk, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does have that, that kind of electric. And these are kind of cool. These are the original Thomas Edison batteries. Thomas Edison invented the alkaline battery to double the range. Of, of, of the, electric cars? Of electric cars. And he did. It just didn't double it enough. It wasn't far enough. But see, what you do is you just, you take them, you flush them out, you clean them. Then you put, pour fresh acid in them, and they were good for another two or three years, you know. So you could use these same batteries over and over again. And see, you still got the, all the Edison patent information. And, you know. Man. Now, that's, that's got to be a, a rare piece. See, do not use acid in this battery. You put water in it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Edison. I said acid. <laughs> it's distilled water. 
So, so like, where do you store the batteries for this baby? Well, you saw the Edison batteries. I yeah, just showed yeah. you those. Uh, and that's I can what use those if I want, but I, I've just got modern batteries. I think they fit right in there. Six of them? Uh, here. Six in the front, six, six in, the back. in the back. Yeah, yeah. And those Edison crates would have taken the place of these. Right, same thing, same thing. Uh, these are deep cycle. These are like you'd use in a golf cart. Or something and they're six, volt, they're six volt batteries. Yeah, yeah. You get more power with six volts. Hmm. More amperage? Uh, I guess so. I'm not a big electric guy. I think, I think it's, yeah, sure, more amperage. That sounds good. <laughs> and you, you, as with many of your cars, you have kind of the original... Uh, yeah, the that's the original stuff. ad. That was quite a racy ad in the day. You see, you got the guy, it says, Daddy, get me a baker, but you're not quite clear if it's really her father or some <laughs> creepy congressman. Look at that. <laughs> he, does, he does have that creepy congressman. And look at her little thing. innocent face in the window up there. She's kind of... Let you know, me out. <laughs> yeah, it just has that sort of... Uh, <laughs> I'll get you a baker. <laughs> <laughs> but it, people look at it and they have no idea how you drive it because you see there doesn't appear to be any. So no, there, there doesn't appear to be a steering wheel. So how how does one? Well, drive hop this in. Trip? I'll show you. Hop in. Hop just, in. Okay. So I just, just hop in. Hop in. Slide over. Okay. This is your tiller right here. This is what you steer with. You release your handbrake and you turn your key. There's uh, some gauge one up. Volts. Volts yeah. went up. And away we go. 23 miles an hour in the shop. Oh my god! Which, you know, it's actually quite pleasant to drive because you sort of get into this, oh, you just sort of go along and you have your friends sitting facing you and you have a conversation. <laughs> All you hear is the creaking of the wheel. Yeah, it's, it's... Now, do you want to go out in the street? Oh, yeah. And it's always ready to go. But what are the brakes like? Oh, brakes are okay. I mean, fine. It's not, not that much to brake. You know, and you've got... Uh, but you see how easy it is to drive. <laughs> Trolley. San Francisco treat. It's, 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 this is so cool. It's neat, isn't it? The only sound you hear is really the creaking of the wood, the wooden wheels. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. I love the bell. I love yeah, the bell. Yeah, the bell. <laughs> bell really makes it. How do you find using a tiller? I mean, uh, Oh, I mean, it's not hard. It's it's really rather intuitive. You know, you just sort of move it left and move it right. You only have to move it an inch or two because if you go too far, you'll tip over. <laughs> tiller is not really the best. Tiller was not designed for high speed work. You just kind of move it a little bit. But you know, the idea of the idea that you can have a conversation with people s sitting over there. This is one of these enjoy life cards. Yeah. I think there's actually a little bit of a, you know, kind of a design flaw here, though, in, in, in having people sit over there and block your, like, forward vision, isn't it? Well, you're, you're going back you're to 1910 20, where there were no only, cars on the road. You're only going 20 miles an hour anyway. Uh, the speed limit was probably, what, 25, 30? So you really sort of, you just sort of go along and... Oh, there's someone two miles up ahead. I better slow down. <laughs> Traffic's piling up. <laughs> Plus, these are really only bought by the wealthy. But what and, did this go for? Um, they weren't cheap. I don't know. I would guess in the $2,500 range. And don't forget, this didn't frighten horses or anything. It wasn't right. like a gas car. So they were actually... Plus, you could, you know, and they did have the same problems with pollution and everything back then. You, you know, ask cars in a closed garage, this kind of thing. Whereas these, you could, uh, you could take anywhere. How you doing? We 
an amazing car. The bells, I think the bells. Yeah, the bells. I mean, just, make that's it. worth worth the price of admission, right? Well, it there. just has that department store, menswear, lingerie <laughs> kind of thing to it, you know. And you keep your eye on your gauges and you got your What are they gonna tell me? I mean you got two gauges, you got bolts and you well, got amps. You can see how many amps you're drawing you're, you're drawing when you go faster and faster. And then that drops down as it kind of Yeah. I mean, if you think of it as volts, think of the volts as a, a hose and the amps, the water going through the hose. I mean, it's, you know, just watching you operate, it's, it's like you're an elevator. Oh, it is. Yeah, there, there's a sort of an Otis feel to it. <laughs> well, you have to try it. We'll, we'll, switch, uh, we'll switch off here and you can see what it's like. Such an odd looking vehicle, though, because it really does lack a front end. Yeah, it just, but don't forget, it, at the time this was designed, nobody knew what vehicles were supposed to look like. So They could have all looked like this. Yeah. <laughs> look on people's face. Yeah, you, so you just sort of, but you know, if you're not in any hurry to get somewhere, no, it's actually quite actually a pleasant travel. way to travel. Just sort of go along and you can play bridge while you're driving. <laughs> there aren't many cars you can play bridge while you're driving. You could have a nice foursome here, right? Oh, yeah, that's what people did, you know. You, and as a taxi cab in New York City, it's almost uh, foolproof. You know, they don't stall, they don't yeah. die. You know, you take it back, and then they charge it overnight, and you pick up another one to use. Now, is this, are we, are we flat out? We are flat out. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> Somebody stop me. Well, how many amps are we drawing? Let's see. Uh, 50. Uh, see, if I get off it, you'll see the amps drop. Oh, yeah. Now, if we were to climb a big hill, you'd see it go up to... Well, I saw it spike to like 125 yeah, when you accelerated. Yeah. And you do have good visibility. Excellent visibility, yeah. Your crash protection's not much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you can drop both front and back windows. for Drop front and back windows and side windows. Plus, you can look down on other cars. <laughs> You've got that, you do have that kind of superior feel up here. You know? And the nice thing is, you can look down on Prius owners with their gas polluting three cylinder, whatever that is, motor. The nice thing is, you can look down on Prius owners because they're wasting gas. <laughs> That's electricity only, and everything, even the lights are electric on this. Oh, yeah, yeah, electric lights. Electric lights were a big deal in 1909. Most cars still had gas lamps, so this was all electric. Like when my wife and I go out to eat, I, I park it and I just leave the lights on, you know, people go, oh, what's that, you know? And then that doesn't run down the battery? It does, but you've got so much battery capacity. You've got five or six hours of running time. So you go out to dinner, you know, it's, it's no big deal. What's the recharge time on this thing? Um, it's like overnight? Yeah, it's about overnight. And where are all the batteries in it? The batteries are uh, in the front, that front and box? in the back, yeah. you got 12 batteries. Six times 12 is what, quick? 72. 72, see? There you go. There's your volts. 72 volts. 72 volts. Pop quiz. Yeah. We'll turn around down here and let Dennis take it. That'll be scary. But you know, you can see you really don't want to go much faster. No, than this. no, this is probably good enough. And it, it, it is really as tall as, as it is long. <laughs> it is. It is tall. And the suspension is not really uh, <laughs> there. <laughs> not really there. <laughs> See, since we're going downhill, we're, we're using less uh, amps. There's no regenerative braking or any of that kind of stuff. Hmm. Brakes was are really a, that, that was way before heads-up display, though, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. <laughs> That's head-down display. That's a head-down display. You look at the floor. <laughs> And there's no, f is there any freewheel in this car? Well, I'm in neutral right now. Oh, there see, is see, we're not oh, yeah, pulling not. zero amps. Right. Turn, uh, turn right, turn right, Willie. <laughs> but this is the classic sort of old car that makes people smile. 
Oh yeah. You know, because it doesn't look like anything that's on the road. It just. Oh, that's for sure. That's a sort of an odd. Not much of a turning radius? No, not much at all. Actually, we should go around. I don't know what's in there. You want to try it? Sure, sure. Yeah, switch over with me. We'll try it. Uh, you can just uh, stand up and I'll just okay. slide over. Okay, yeah, we'll do a, do a little shuffle here. Okay. All right. Uh, mm, okay. All right. All right. Okay, you got two brakes. Two brakes. One's, well, it's a parking brake. You can use either one. Push it off to the side. Okay, now when you want to go forward, don't, you'll feel there are five clicks. Yeah. Just go one click at a time. If okay. you go too fast, you burn the motor out. We don't want to do that. Okay. So do I go? Where do you yeah, want to go? Try and go straight. Yeah, huh? just try, try and go straight. There's some confidence. Okay, one click. Ooh, okay. okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And, and neutral is pull back. Just pull yeah, straight okay. back. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can get into it. It's this is strange, Jay. Great. Yeah. Okay. You don't have the brake on, do you? So. No, there you go. I like it. Now, you, but, but those brakes are the same. Yeah, well, the yeah. Wheels or? The, yeah, they both. You can use the one on your left. Now pull it back to neutral when you step on the uh, brake. Okay. Yeah, go that way. See what's down there. Let's see what's down there. I love this probe. This is actually, oh, actually. Oh yeah, this is kind of nice. Yeah, you get used to it. Tiller is a little strange though. <laughs> I know it's, it's really, it's really. <laughs> I feel like. Got yeah. a snaking down the road here too. I haven't yeah. got it down yet, but I can't believe this. I'm gonna do this nice and slow. How do I look? Do I look good? I don't want to get it in the center. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm hoping. I think you can go up there and go right. All right, or right, or, yeah, okay. Yeah, go right. Okay. This is a little unnerving, Jay. This I mean, is just a well, you see, suddenly 23 miles an hour is pretty damn scary. <laughs> I will never complain again. But you know it fits in any parking space. I believe that. And what is what are the clicks doing for me? Are they uh, how are they changing? It's, it, it's just so you don't burn out the rheostat, just like a Lionel train set. You know, you never wanted to click it all the way over. You send too much current through, and right. you, you, you burn the uh, commutator and stuff. So you just want to go click, click, click. Uh, right or left? Let's go right. Follow them. Follow them. <laughs> Good, good. There's your button. There's one. Oh yeah, I, I hit that first thing. All right. I think I'm getting out of this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, watch you every night. Hey, thanks. <laughs> In a car, so while you're sitting, it's silent. You know. This is really cool. Yeah, you know, it's, they're, they're actually quite nice. They're really pleasant to drive. Um, it is relaxing. You don't you always have, have to you... go fast to have fun in a car, you know? Yeah. And you just sort of, you know, I drive this around and I go, I never knew that store was there. Because, you, <laughs> cause, you know, you go buy things so quickly. You know, in this thing, you just sort of go along and... And even, and, and even, oh, look at that. That's pretty, nice. Nice Vicky, huh? Yeah. No, that's not a Vicky. And even people who, Just a fair lane. who don't know anything about cars and don't like cars find this fascinating. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it, it, if nothing else, it just looks so strange. Yeah, it just doesn't look like anything. Oh. 
Whoops. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> No turn signals, huh? No, no. Nah. We don't need no stinking turn signals. You know, these uh, these pillars here are kind of in the line of sight. <laughs> well, it wasn't... Uh, <laughs> wine, wine, wine. High speed work was not... Uh, you got another click now, don't you? Yeah, I just wanted to get the Watch out for that... Uh, yeah. Got two more clicks, there we go. And we're still only pulling a mere 50 amps. Yeah. That's actually a lot of amps, though. Yeah, there's a lot of electricity in this thing. This is cool, Jay. Electric car is the only thing that scares tow truck drivers. Because <laughs> you know when they've been in an accident, you don't know where you can touch. Yeah. You're looking at 300 volts direct current sometimes. Mm. Flat out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm doing the best I can, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the ride. But it's pleasant. It's you know? great, it's great. When you look at the Christmas lights, it's the best. And actually after you, you know, after you get onto it, it, it is kind of relaxing. Yeah, it's just a fast jog. I would think as a taxi, it'd be great because you don't go very fast. The meter just keeps yeah, running yeah, and running. Yeah, exactly. It'll see the advantage. But in the day, this is about a you know, Model T only went 42 miles an hour, and this goes 23. So don't forget the roads weren't paved. Right. Tough to make a hand signal. You kind of reach out around. No, <laughs> it's not quite perfected. <laughs> it's still working out, center bugs. Yeah, you, know, you pick up speed as you come down. You pull that straight back. All right. Come to a screeching halt. Have you done any electrics on the show yet? Nope, first electric. Wow. First electric. Unless, you know, I mean, we like we took the, the Owens out, but that's kind of a... Oh, that's it. Did we take the Owens? Oh, sorry, we went on a chassis. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops, gosh. Well, it's right there, isn't it? Did we air that one with the Owens? Yeah, it's a, but that's just a real... We really didn't do the... Well, you know, I don't know if we shot it. I think we just that took one. it out. Whoops. I think we just took it out and drove it. I don't think we had the camera rolling. Yeah, that's... Yeah, okay. I wonder why. I think we're just playing at the end of the day type thing. Yeah. Because that's an amazing machine. Yeah, interesting, you know. So now you just flat out, take your oh. hand off the throttle. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, the hand is off, yeah, that's true. I don't think I take the hand off the tiller though. It does wander a little bit. Yeah, the... Uh, and you tend to overcorrect with this thing, I'm finding. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's direct, so just go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so quiet. Yeah, that's, it's fun. You know, you can have a conversation. And it does the same whether you're one person or four people. And like I say, you can play bridge, and whatever you want. Canaster. <laughs> And it's, you know, it's, it's silent like steam, but you don't even have the choo-choo part. No, it's really silent. I mean, in its day, it was quite, I mean, this is faster than a fast trot on a horse. Yeah. Which yeah. is really what you're competing against, a carriage. So he had a carriage without all the, you know. And it really is just a carriage body, basically. It's a carriage body. And, you know, it's interesting. A lot of people forget at the turn of the century, a lot of animal rights people were very much for cars, especially electric cars and these kind of cars. 
because horses would get worked to death. People would work a horse and whip it until it dropped dead in the street, and then they'd unhook it, and they'd, they'd take off, and they'd leave dead animals. Here you go, right here. You know, they'd leave dead animals in the road. So it was, it was the great emancipator of the horse. You might want to use both brakes. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> cornering it. Uh, high, high, high speed cornering. You're right. You don't. You don't need to go fast in this car. You just don't no, need no, to. Oh, no, you don't. Yo. You also have no rearview mirrors here. Well, I got one I stick on. But... Oh, I see. Now let's do this nice and easy. Nice and easy here. Because it is top heavy. Oh, yeah. Er, er. We're here. We made it. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. This is Jay Leno. Happy motoring. Save the planet. Drive an electric car. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. What a trip. And now you set the brake, push this one down, pull it over to the side. I feel it clicking. Yeah, you're in. Okay. That's kind of odd. You got this stick all the way back. Yeah. That just locks the brake in place. Electricity is great if you can make it at point of regeneration. If you, you make it and use it, make it and use it, ah, then it's, it's unbelievable but you can't store it. You cram all this electricity in a box and it, it's just, it'll get out somehow. It'll, if you put it on the shelf locked in a box, it will escape, you know. So that, that's the trouble with it, so. But for something like this, you can drive five and a half hours flat out all day. And most flat, people- Flat out is 20 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, and then you plug it in, you're ready to go the next day. Well, you know, most- more than bouncing on a horse for five hours. Yeah. Plus, don't forget, most cities, the only paved roads went to the edge of town, and that was it. So you could go all over Manhattan, or you could go all over Cleveland, or ever, you know, and do your chores and come back home again, and yeah. you're fine, you know. I mean, for its intended purpose, it was, it was great. I mean, I use it, I get up in the morning, I go to work, I take it to work, I drive it around, I drive it home, I plug it in again. I could do that every day and never, ever run out of battery power. Now, if I want to go to San Francisco, well, obviously, that's, that's a problem, yeah. But, I mean, to use it every day as a grocery getter and stuff, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> it is that. That's fine. Now, that, that is kind of an interesting thing, though. This doesn't really have any storage space. No. No, it doesn't. I, it doesn't. I, just, I just noticed it. I mean, no, it's, there's it's no the, storage space. It's the well, people would put stuff on the top. On the roof, yeah. You know, you put, well, make it even more top-heavy. <laughs> Perfect hat, idea. Hat, hat boxes and things like that <laughs> up on the roof. But the idea, this was something you went to the theater or the opera in, and mm -hmm. you pulled up, you know, and, and just people get them. out, and that's what it was, uh, you know. Whoa! <laughs> That's why I slammed the door. <laughs> Damage it? No. Yeah. That's all right. Want to do that one again? Or you want to leave that on? That's all right. Didn't damage it, did it? No. 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 So. Didn't swing past the hinge. Did nope. It? No. No, I caught it. Okay. Do you, you want to pull in again? Oh, I, we could use that. It was pretty funny. I mean, uh, I don't want to use it. Or not. It's all right. Whatever you want. Right back up. All right. Take two. So you're off all week. Well, I've got a book tour. My Start on Thursday. I got another book coming out. Did you get an open number four in New York Times bestseller list? Right? All right. It started yet, so that's good. Job book for kids. Well, the, what's the what's the latest in your first kids book? That roast beef should fly. It's roast beef, yeah. How far back do we need to go? How far back, Marty? Uh, a little bit further. So Just a little bit more. Keep going. Got it. Keep going. Say when. Keep going. And. Good.